thanks very much for being here. It's my pleasure now to introduce James Hoffa, President of the Deansters. Well, I agree with everything that was said by the Senator. I want to thank Senator Bernie Sanders. I want to uh, thank uh, Congressman uh, Marcy Kaptur, who's coming in right now, uh, for their drafting this legislation and caring about something that should be a national issue. When you hear about what's going on with the presidential campaign, the only people talking about pensions is Bernie Sanders. Yeah. And why is that? This is an important issue. Promises made to you. You have sacrificed and worked 40 years and 30 years for good companies. You sacrificed your wages. You did everything right. You played by the book. And then now they're pulling the rug from you. The legislation has been devastating to us. We fought the legislation and we did everything we could to preserve these pensions. We have been a victim of many, many things. Deregulation, we know what happened. Hundreds of trucking companies going out of business. Uh, NAFTA, sending American jobs overseas. Exporting American jobs, unfair trade. All of these have conspired against what we're doing. But there was a promise made, and that promise is something that we have to uphold. We are joining and supporting this legislation, and what is so important is that everybody said, well, we have to do this. Uh, but Senator Bernie Sanders said, no, not so fast. We don't have to do that. We have to have money. The biggest thing is in Washington, they always say one thing. How are you going to pay for it? Well, they found a way to pay for it, closing two obscure loopholes in the tax system. One has to do with fancy paintings. Anybody here got a Picasso? <laughs> I don't see any Picassos here. Another one is something to do uh, with you know rich people passing on uh, in their estates. Well, they can go with a little bit so you can have what you're entitled to. And that's the thing we've got to do. So we have found the money. We have found billions of dollars that will be raised by closing these loopholes. It's so simple. And what's involved here is your standard of living, not worried about some pic somebody's picture. And your standard of living is what it is. At the IBT, we get calls every day because this is affecting every member. One member, I wanted to tell you, was afraid, and he said, I'm gonna commit suicide if this happens. That's what it'll do. And it scared the hell out of us, and we called right away. We called the, the family, we called the police to make sure that didn't happen. But that's how concerned we are about this. People are very concerned. This is our issue. And we have to have a champion, and Bernie Sanders is that champion. Let's hear it for him, of what he's doing. <laughs> People that say you can't, this can't be done, that there is no other way to solve this problem, these people, these trustees of these pension funds say you've got to cut, not true. We can find money. We can find money to keep your pension. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to fight all the way. So I want to thank everybody for being here. And the fact that you're here makes this a lie because you are the face of what's going on. You know, here in Washington, basically this is an echo chamber. We just talk to each other. But when people come in, from across America to come in that are going to be affected by that. That makes this real. And your being here is so important. I want to thank you all for coming. This is just the beginning of this fight. It's not over. We're going to keep fighting. Let's do it together. Thank you. Let's do one thing. No cuts. No cuts. No.